Hello everyone, I am Chestrook44 and welcome to this let's play of Geneforge 2. We've just gone through the Magus Complex and finally seen all we can see in there. And they actually asked us to take care of a power to take care of rogues in a power station up here. They mentioned sneaking and such is probably important, but we'll see what we can do up there. We'll probably do a lot of killing and the like. So come, let us go and find out what's in the power station. Let's see. Does the road lead directly to the power station? Oh my, no, the road is actually destroyed. Huh. Oh, we'll explore. Now there's the road again. What the? Oh crap, there's Volish. Okay, uh. We're gonna have to hide and draw them to us. Oh crap, Clawbugs too? Oh dear, oh my, oh my. This. This is. <sighs> ah, crap, this, this, ah, jeez, there goes Rendara the second. Crap. Okay, something tells me we're probably gonna die right here. I mean, we can kill them, actually, fairly easily, but when they hit, they hit hard. And, of course, the Vlish actually heals them. Okay. And we're probably about to die. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, then. We really need to improve our various skills a lot. And we need to be more careful. Okay, we got past there. Whoa! What the? This is the west gate of the Magus Complex. There is a small stone gate, and beyond it, a dark hall leads into the cliff face. There is an aura of magical energy in the air. This is a small gate, and the defenses are surprisingly simple. The door is blocked by several rows of mines. The small, immobile, unstable creatures wait to explode when their program target gets close. Fortunately, you are not one of the targets they have been set to kill. The sensor tendrils of the mines aren't pointing at you. Well, that's good. I didn't realize there was another entrance here, though. What does this place area go to? Experiment chambers. We'll definitely have to go there soon. But first, let's take care of the power station. The Magus Complex is a lot bigger than I thought it was. This must lead out the west. Road here is not very well constructed. Yep, this leads out the west to... Golem Bridge? They have golems? That's new. That's very new. That'll be very interesting to see. For now, though, it's time to go around this outer edge, and then we'll go into the power station and hopefully not die. An orc? What is an orc doing out here? It's a nice, quiet little area, though. Peaceful little lake. Hmm. I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, the power station is in the center. Yep. Alright then. We may as well approach from the south. Ah, there we are. Kill it. Good. Now we just need to deal with all the claw bugs. Come on. We can take them. We can deal with them. Please deal with them. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Why are they all charging for Rendara? Okay, Rendara, run! I don't want you to get uh, overwhelmed by them. They're all charging after Rendara. Why? Okay, uh, Rendara, can you get back around? This way, we can ambush them. There they are. Well, there's one of them. There's another. There's another dead. I know there was a third one. There it is. Why did you run all the way around there? I hate when they do that. Wait, they're called herd bugs? And they are strong. Holy crap. Wait, no, I... There. 
that's what I meant. Herd bucks. These things are strong. Ah, I can see the entrance to the complex. We'll definitely have to pick up any shaper equipment we find. It gives us a lot of coin. Madness gem? Mass madness. Oh my, that... We are definitely going to have to experiment with that. Major healing pod. Good, we need one of those. And an armor pod. I haven't tried those yet. We may have to. There's another entrance to the place. Oh boy! Crap, crap, crap. Oh boy. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh boy. Okay. Survive. Good. There we go. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on! Seriously? No, seriously? What the hell? Let those bugs come to us. Why aren't they coming to us? They're not coming to us. There, now they're coming to us. And they're all going for Rendara the second. Damn it, you should have run. Crap. Very crap. Run! Run! Move those little raptor legs. Good. Now you can come back. No, no. There we go. Keep losing track of things. There we go. Okay. Rundara the second is healed. Huh. Interesting. So it looks like these are only entrances on this side. Ah, I see a couple. I saw that. There they are. We can kill those. Ow. That one's gonna die. There it goes. Come on. Wait, didn't it say they were making them in there? Uh-oh. We're gonna have to go in there fairly quickly then, aren't we? Oh boy. Kill it. Save Rendara the second. Good enough. Oh jeez! Okay, uh... Oh, come on! There. Okay, that one's running in terror. Come on, Rendara, you can take it down. There we go. Nice kill. There's a madness gem. We'll have to try it out. I want to see what it does. I, 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 jeez, the hell was he doing? <sighs> right, well, we may as well go in, see what's in here. From here, you have a clear view of the center of this ruin. It looks like an old shaper installation, crumbling and overgrown. The fast-growing trees of this valley are slowly tearing it apart. This building is some sort of power station, here to absorb sunlight and ge generate magical power to fuel shaping and experiments. After all these years of neglect, this place must be very unstable. There is a large spire in the center of the complex. It must be what is creating and maintaining the guards patrolling these woods. If you wanted to do something about the guards, it might be possible to disrupt them by interrupting the power. This room contains several power spirals. Power spirals are gelatinous, essence-charged life forms <laughs> held in a shell of crystal. They can absorb sunlight, convert it into magical energy, and store it. Thin fibers run from the spires into the floor, and from there probably to the spire in the center of the complex. A skilled shaper can disrupt or deactivate power spirals. However, they are very unstable things. If your skill with mechanics isn't high enough, you can cause a horrible explosion. Hmm. Well, there's some shaper equipment. Let's see if we can take a look at the thing in the center. You approach the spire. 
It is a highly magically charged piece of stone, doubtless with organic elements inside. It is supposed to take the power from the spirals and direct it to experiments nearby. However, there are no shapers nearby, and this thing has been left to run for many years. As a result, it is very unstable, using all its power to protect itself and maintain a bunch of rogues. You notice that there is a gem set in the side of the spire, surrounded by a ring of runes. However, you can't reach it. The spire is surrounded by a powerful magical shield. Clearly, we need to deactivate these. And our mechanic skill is high enough. The air suddenly becomes very still. There is a gentle humming in the air, so quiet that you didn't really notice it until it was gone. You have disrupted the spire in the center somehow. Still can't get the magical sh Still can't get the gem. But we can deactivate all of these. Oh! Oh crap! Oh crap! Wait. Wait a minute. They're allies now? They're allies and... Huh. We can take the gem. But that could probably result in something very bad. On the plus side, we managed to solve the issue here. Oh, we're getting a lot of shaper equipment. I think maybe we'll leave the gem alone. Something tells me if we took it, it would result in something very horrible happening. On the plus side, we managed to take care of the issue with the, uh, with the guards, so all the rogues, that's no longer a problem. Very good thing. Very good. We've solved their problem. Yay! Wasn't a big deal, actually, once we got in. There's a boat? What the hell is a boat doing out here? This is the middle of a forest. Why is there a boat here? And, of course, now I just realized I ended up wasting that, uh... I wasted those speed spores. We did not have to use them. God dang it. No, oh, that was a moment of, well, intense worry. For now, let's go back and tell the guy we solved this problem with the power station. Would have been nice to kill the rest of those uh, creations, though. Get experience. Have you had any troubles with the rogues outside? Wait, we said... We just said we did. Perhaps I could take care of that for you. That would be great. Yes, we did. Oh no, maybe we do have to take the crystal. Okay. All right then, let's uh let's take this crystal. Take the gem. You carefully reach for the gem, touch it and find that it's loose. You pull on it and find that it's not a gem. It's a magical ring. It seems to have been in some way powering or modulating the pylon. Now that the ring is gone, the spire seems to have lost its magic. This area will be a lot safer now. Yay. Ring of the eye. Mind effect resistance and mind effect resistance of creations. You know what? We'll use that instead of the projection band. I don't think the projection band is really helping that much, so come on, now we can go tell that guy about this. I have neutralized the power core. I am glad to hear it. She pulls a pouch of coins from her robes and hands it to you. You may find it a modest payment, but it should be good for at least one spell from our teacher. And that's it. Okay. Didn't get enough to level up. Oh, the, actually, once we turn in these, uh, these, this shaper equipment, we might actually level up. At which point, we can probably create the uh, claw bug I wanted to make, which will be awesome. Ah, come on, eleven experience. Oh, if we just killed one more of those creations, we'd have enough. I guess we'll have to level- I guess we'll be leveling up in the next episode. Actually, let me sell this ring, which we don't need. I guess we'll level up in the next episode. I think we'll probably look at the rest of the Magus Complex, then take a look at that Golem Bridge. I'm really curious what it is, but we'll do that another time. Till then, 
I am Trestrook44, that is Emil and Rendar the second. This has been a Gene Forge 2 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.